Hello, my name is Tiffany Page and I'm a student at the University of Laverne. This screencast is on the assessment for GATE students. What is GATE? GATE stands for Gifted and Talented Education. A gifted person is someone who shows or has the potential for showing an exceptional level of performance in one or more areas. How can you determine if a student is considered gifted? All school districts establish their own testing for determining if a student is GATE, including California Standards Test, the Cognitive Abilities Test, the RAVEN, and the SIT. So what is the COG-AT test? It's a nationally standardized norm reference test, which is administered for K through 12, and it's a group of assessments. It measures reasoning and problem solving skills, and it measures these in three different areas, verbal, quantitative, and nonverbal. The Ravens was designed to reduce biases that language differences can have on measuring IQ. So the Ravens test allows children to show pattern recognition, attention to detail, memory, and spatial reasoning. And it's similar to other intelligence tests like the WISC3. The SIT stands for Slauson Intelligence Test. It's designed for use as a quick estimate of general verbal cognitive ability. It contains 187 untimed items assessing the cognitive domains of vocabulary, general information, similarities and differences, comprehension, quantitative ability, and auditory memory. All of the items are presented in question and answer format. There's also a student study team. This is used to qualify a student for GATE even if the student did not qualify through testing. It looks at all of the information provided for the child, including teacher recommendations, other testing data, and parent or child provided evidence. Any other information that the student study team would want to consider is also included. So why is GATE important? It provides challenges for students that are ahead of, in the curriculum, and it increases the chance of students succeeding in their secondary education and their post-secondary degrees. What do the programs look like for GATE? Differentiation was the biggest key point for programs. In elementary school, this differentiation is within the classroom with guided reading, literature circles, math groups. They move students to higher levels of the Bloom's taxonomy by doing this. In middle school, they combine the differentiation within accelerated learning and advanced classes. And then in high school, they can provide accelerated learning as well as offer post-secondary offerings like college credit classes. So where does the money come from? So these programs are established individually by each state. So the funding is done by the specific state and then the specific districts develop their own programs and apply the funding within the state of California. And this is where all the information came from for the presentation. Thank you.